Welcome to Big Ambitions, a business tycoon game set in New York. And we set up our very first business in the last episode, a little gift store. But of course, we want more. <laughs> we want a lot more. Um, I do want to maybe look at changing the designs. Oh, hello. Um, oh, okay. Before we do that, <laughs> I'm distracted. Right, so we have our first recruit. Do we like the look of him? Cleaning, 14%. Customer service, 41%. Part-time, no weekends. Ooh. Or do I want someone else? I wouldn't say stats are incredible, are they? Lloyd Morgan. Okay, we're hiring him anyway. He's hired. Now, if we go to Bizman, we can actually think about uh, scheduling in his employment. Oh, okay. We have Lloyd Morgan. What day is this? Friday. Okay. Is he assigned now to 48 hour week? Is he okay with that? <laughs> that's a long that's a long amount of hours. That's kind of mad. So he's covering basically the whole time the shop is open. Monday to Saturday. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I guess we'll see. So there we go. Our very first employee is ready for customers to come in. But now we need a cleaning station. Yes, cleaning is a fact. So you can see it's looking a little bit grubby. Um, definitely looking a little bit grubby. I do want to try and maybe change the walls, the floors as well. So that's... Oh, our first customer. Hello. Uh, oh, I like when stores play music. I feel a bit quiet, apparently. Okay, we can maybe look at doing that at some point. Uh, let's jump in my car. And let's get going. I'm ready. Jump in. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in when I'm driving. Okay, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> right, ideally, I don't want to crash. Um, one sec, is my car being fueled? The fuel's gone up. I'm sure it's gone up. I haven't fueled it, but okay, sweet. <laughs> Won't complain. We never complain about free fuel. Never. Right, can I park in this spot? Let's go park outside. Reversing. This is so dodgy. This is incredibly dodgy. Right, so I think I have to pay. Yeah, park the vehicle. So do I have to go to the, the parking machine and actually pay, or does that happen automatically? I don't know. So, buy a cleaning station. We want another shelf, actually, as well. That would be quite good. I don't know where to buy it now, though. Uh, buy a cleaning station. Where is that? Storage shelf. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad, is it? Look at that. Oh, that was Bella. That was definitely Bella. Right, grab the mop. Do I have it? Yes. Complete first two of Uncle Fred's objectives. I didn't realize I did that. Does that go in here then? Yeah. So that will go there. Yay! And grab the mop. And let's start cleaning. So does he do it automatically? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, lovely. I love it. Yeah, the stock is starting to get a little bit low. We did it! Boys, we're looking good. <laughs> Make sure you keep them clean. You don't want the customers walking around in a dirty store, okay? All right, now, back to business. Maybe it's time to start looking for other opportunities. By any chance, have you noticed that people, your customers, are looking for something to drink? How about Ooh. stock in a fridge or something like, like that with cans of soda? You can make some extra money on that. I think that's a great idea. So we're going to go and buy a drinks fridge from the local appliance store. We're then going to buy some soda cans, place the drinks in the fridge, fill them up. We're good. And I might buy some more cheap gifts along the way as well. Because we're running out. So that's a good shout. Okay, let's jump in the car. I'd think about this game I really like. It's got a really cool charm to it. Definitely. Oh, what? I've got uh, contact in me. What's this? There's another recruit. Ooh. See, oh, she she is more keen. Lily Watson is more keen on, on working full time. Customer service isn't quite as high. She is cheaper as well. How does sacking uh, someone work, by the way? Uh, is that possible? Can we just fire them on the spot? Which would feel a bit bad. Um, ooh, tricky. Man, 
manage schedule. So you are working pretty much every day right now. I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Thank you anyway. Right, drinks fridge. Uh, that's a standard fridge. There we go. That's not too bad. Place the order. $878. Not too bad. Get that in the back. Right. Uh, buy a box of soda cans. Where are the soda cans? Cheap male cloves. Aha. Soda cans. Lovely. Might actually get one of these and try and grab a few things actually while we're here. So cheap gifts. Yep. Don't want to run out of those. Let's buy some more soda cans. Yeah, sure. We've got two sets of soda cans. Anything else that might be useful? Frozen food. Not really looking at that just yet. Fresh food, salads, burgers. I think I'll do for now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Is someone snoring? Well, I'm pretty sure we have one of those carrier systems in here. What are they, what are they even called? Hand truck. Really? Is that what it's called? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Are you sure about that? Manage the storage. Yes. We are fully loaded. One sec. Why is there no one here? Oh, six. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Right. Drinks fridge. Let's place this. Uh, where do I want it? By the exit? Yeah, I think that's a good good idea. So I think it's already got soda cans in it. Lovely. There um, you go, kiddo. Some more cheap Continue gifts. listening to your customers and keep improving. Keep improving. And by the way, you know you don't build an entire empire with just a gift shop, right? I think you should consider opening a new business. That said, you don't want to go rushing into something willy-nilly. You got to know what people want. There's an app for that. Market Insider app. See what people are looking for. There's a 100% demand. Bottles of wine would be quite good. So what do we want to look at? Open the market and sort out the demand to find the most demand product. That is what I just did. I can do it again if you want to. There we go. So yes, currently, is that cigars? <laughs> cigars, bottles of wine, and burgers, and donuts are pretty high up but you see there's so many options here for stuff we can get pretty exciting now you know in business we always research a market before we go into it you'll never get rich by supplying products that aren't in demand before you start your next business make sure to get the business administration diploma at the school okay so we're gonna do a bit more education so what we're gonna do get a nice little sleep um, get some food in us and begin the next day and then we do the fundamentals of business administration um, that's what we're going to do next pretty excited while uh, is it Lloyd whatever the, the name of our employee is um, we'll be working away still earning us money hopefully um, so yes have a nice little sleep just as many hours as I I guess the shop the business centre probably doesn't open until 9 anyway so I might as well just wait till around 9 so we did 24 hours. Wow, that's a lot. Ouchie. It's going to cost us a lot of money as well. But that's what the game tells me to do. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to spend a couple of days just working on getting this course done. And then I'll be back in a jiffy. I promise. Oh, we just got a random message from our employee. I feel like this employee might have been the wrong one to go with. Probably moaning about the hours. Oh... Oh boy. So that's now exactly on the contract they want. So hopefully that makes them a little bit happy. I've, I've clearly changed it. And they don't want to work weekends. But there we go. You do seem a little bit fussy, I'm just being honest. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, we'll see if that changes. It'll be interesting to see if that does change the fortunes of the, uh, the gift shop and his happiness, potentially. Right, if my maths are correct, we are almost done with this course. It's like day three of the course. It's a pretty intense course, actually. And it's not cheap. Which is kind of annoying. But I'm looking forward to opening up another adventure. It's going to be it's going to be epic. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, is it two more hours? Four more hours? Three more hours. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. Get the course done. Three hours. 240. Boom. 
Yeah, the money's definitely dropped a lot, which is a little bit worrying, but there we go. So the course is now done. Open a fast food restaurant as a second business. Tips, use F1 to learn more about the business types. Okay, um, so let's find a place where we can potentially rent and begin a little burger adventure. Um, so let's go to the map. I want to keep it sort of within roughly the sort of same region. So retail, yeah, that seems about right. So we've got the gift shop here. Is that being rented out? That's a bit big, isn't it? I don't read a, a big place like that. This could be good, but it's not much traffic. And we want quite a bit of footfall, don't we? This one isn't too bad. And it's also very, very close to the wholesaler. It's a nice size. Yeah, we could do that. We could definitely do that. So daily rent, 24. Deposit's quite high, but... Yeah, let's do it. I'm up for that one. Start a brand new business. So we've got a coffee shop. Uh, we want to start a fast or supermarket. Oh, that would be tempting. How cool would that be? Um, anyway, fast food. Yes. Start a business. All right. Uh, Game Riot. Burgers. Yes. Lovely. A brand new business. Look at us shine. So good. Righty then. Uh, buy an in industrial grill and a cabinet. Sounds like a great idea. So let's get... That's quite far away, actually. I wonder if we can eventually get taxes. I can, yes. <laughs> I need to see this. So we're going to this appliance store here. $30? Okay. Still, I guess that's useful, but wow. So let's grab a little trolley. All right, what do we need? So we need a trash bin. Would be quite good, actually. That's a good shout. Not essential, but still. Industrial grill. That's not cheap. And then we need a cabinet. Cabinet? Is that a basic? Yeah, cabinet. Ah, there we go. Yes. I found out how to rotate it. I'm going to put this here. Looks pretty basic, but sure. Uh, burgers, yep. Yeah. I would want to place on a cabinet. Okay, that makes sense. That does make sense. Right, grab that. Place the cabinet here. I did think, why is it on the floor for? <laughs> and now I know. Stock up the, the industrial grill with burgers. Fulfill all the requirements for your store. And I guess open it up. Okay, so we're doing, it's doing a cash register. That makes a lot of sense. And we need... Um, Business is dirty. Oh boy. Okay. So, where, where do we start? <laughs> where, where do we start? Uh, let's begin with the burgers. And we do need a cash register as well. Like, I think the wholesaler is just here. I mean, how good is that? That is perfect. Where's your burgers? I think they're over here. Should over here somewhere. Where are the burgers? Where are the burgers? There we go. 100 burgers. Might as well buy a couple. Place the order. We now have burgers, but we do need a cashier. Yes, we do. And then we want to start looking at maybe finding a slightly better employee as well that likes working full time. Because part time is not going to cut it. All right, park the vehicle here. Manage the storage. Take that burger over here. Yeah, we've got burgers! Yay! Come on. Right, I should potentially start looking at maybe... Like, Lily's actually still an option. Which is interesting. Um, I'll cancel that. Can we give them a call? I'm looking for someone to work at game... Is it just, is it just customer service? I guess it is, yeah. I guess it is. Um, just go for one candidate, one day. Yes, confirm. Shame you can't give more options. Like, I don't want the person to be part time. I just don't. It's just completely useless to me. Um, 
Thank you. We'll send out the candidates' resumes as soon as we find them. Okay, good. Thank you. Wait for this store to open. Then we can put a cash register in the in the burger joint, and then we can uh, yeah start selling burgers. Right, please be a cash register here. Yes, there is. Lovely jobly cash register. We will probably need a cabinet as well, don't we? That is true. Um, right, let's use one of these trolleys. Run! Come on, this burger joint won't open itself. <laughs> you, you do feel like stressed, almost as a, as a businessman would be, trying to trying to run like multiple businesses, always worrying about stock as well. Like stock is obviously your main concern. Make sure the employees are there at the shop. It, it is mental. It is crazy. Uh, right. We're in. We're in. So let's place the cabinet down. Whoop. So I'm gonna have the cabinet facing this way. That makes sense. I want actually quite a few cabinets at some point, but we'll work on that later. And then we need the cash register, which will go here, like that. Is that pointing towards the customer, or? I don't know how that's working right now. I don't know. You got two businesses now, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I, think I do. That's what the media calls a serial entrepreneur. Very nice work. Thank I'll let you. you get back to it, and I'll catch up with you later, kid. So he's gonna leave us to it for a little bit. Cleaning station. There, lovely. Right, so we have the basics. How many paper bags? Do we need paper bags? Oh, these are apparently essential. Damn it. I was just there as well. Actually, I believe the wholesale, obviously, next to the burger joint, has paper bags. So just, just go there, buy some paper bags, and we're golden. Um, where's... There it is. There it is. There it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Got my trolley. I'm very, very keen, apparently. Uh, bags, bags, bags. Yes, perfect. All right, go and pay... Luckily, there's no queue here, which is lovely. There's actually never a queue here. Then we're gonna. I would. I'm hoping we can change the sign at some point. That'd be nice. Um, and then put the bags there. Yes. Well, I think we're good to go now. All we're gonna do now is open it up. Um, schedule. I'm gonna open up every day. There's absolutely no reason not to. <laughs> Maybe even work. Can get someone in to do longer hours on like the weekends and stuff. I don't know. For now, we'll just do the basic hours. Uh, eight. Eight is a bit early, isn't it? Should I be moving that? 11 till 7. 11 till 8. Is that a good day? Is that a good amount? That's a long time to be open, isn't it? That's a lot of burgers. We'll see how that goes. We can always change it. Um, obviously, we want an employee here at some point as well. Right, should we assign myself? Yep. So we want to start generating 150 per business. Ooh. How's it dirty? And I've just made it clean recently. Yeah, I would like some drinks and stuff in here. So is he getting out? He's our first burger. The walls and the floor are ugly. Yeah, we should probably change that. <laughs> Let's definitely change it. What what could I do? What's a good theme for a burger joint? Let's try this again. Interior design. It's a nice little red pattern. What? Why is it got no what? Why is no one assigned? That makes absolutely no sense. Right, apply it. Yeah, got a nice little fancy floor. Is that a carpet? I think that might be a carpet. Sign myself. It does look a bit empty, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look really empty. So we need some soda cans. We need some more cabinets here as well. Maybe some tables and chairs. It'll be a really good shout. We're going to struggle to earn decent money on this property for a while. Definitely. I'm hoping you use a sign here, right? Sign myself. Yes. Do it. Go to the end of your shift, which is 8 p.m. Ouch. That is one very long day. Can I not eat these, by the way? Is that not possible? 
Uh, oh man, I really want to change like the walls, but again, it's going to cost us so much money. Just, just that wall. How much would that cost? Four hundred and fifty. Ouch. Ouchy, ouchy, ouchy. That's expensive. Right, I guess we should go home, rest up, and try and work out how to make a bit more money in the banks. So apparently my customer service could definitely be trained. Uh, Lloyd Morgan is apparently a bit low on the, uh, on the customer service front. So is that something we can do? This employee has to be unassigned. Unassigned from any business. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's not something I can, I can really do right now, is it? So if we go to the business manager, the yeah, customer service is 11%. Pricing is 100%. So maybe that's something we need to look at. Maybe up in it just a little bit. Yeah, market price, retail price. We can definitely up this a little bit. Let's see if that has a massive effect. <laughs> we've, only six, we've only sold six um, soda cans so far. So that needs to be worked on. Lloyd Morgan is definitely working the sort of max they can do right now. Right, it's open. So we need a cabinet. Oh, I want as many as possible really, but three will do for now. Um, oh, what else do we need in here? I think it might be it actually. Yeah. Let's go and buy these. Place the order. Then we need uh, a soda. A soda fridge. Alright, place. I might have to do it the, the next day because the store is supposed to be open now and it's not. So... There we go. Looking a little bit more professional. Right, let's manage this. Can I pick this up, please? Stick it in here. Getting loads of these trolleys in here. <laughs> Just nicking them. Right, let's assign myself. And that is your day done. There we go. Is anyone going to come in? I've got some lovely burgers. Yeah, we can definitely get some soda cans down as well. That wouldn't be great. I can't find a radio. Uh -huh. I'd love to buy a radio, but I can't. Mm. There we go. Where well, are where you're going? Oh, some table and chairs would be nice, actually. That would be lovely. Um, ben Owens. Oh, our customer service is not good. But he is full-time. That is such a low customer service. That's madness. Uh, that is so low. Why, why are people so bad? <laughs> why are they so, so bad? I don't know. Oh, do, I, do, I, do I reject that? I don't know if I have to start a new campaign. Cancel. Denied. So I'm hoping to give me another one. I guess we'll see. Declined. So I guess, do I have to do another search? Yeah, we'll have to do another search. Lovely! Oh, look at the, the mess in here. It's getting a bit messy. Let's give a little quick little clean before we go. Look how tired and hungry we are. It is ridiculous. Um, oh, we're going to run out of burgers soon, apparently. Oh. Didn't even see that. Do we have more burgers back here? So, so far... I must admit, Game Right Gifts is not making enough money. We're so close. Burgers are doing pretty well. We seem to be selling a lot of burgers. Despite the lack of furniture, lack of music. Um, it seems to be okay. Daily wage of 132. Why are you earning so much money? We're not making much money, are we? So we need some more gifts, maybe. Okay. So there's, a, there's definitely... A lot to think about at the moment. It's weird. In the last episode, I felt so confident with the amount of money we had. And now the confidence feels like it's sort of gone a little bit. <laughs> it just feels like it's just disappeared. Um, sort of maybe regret furnishing the, the burger joint a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe that, maybe that was a mistake. I wanted to make the place look a little bit different, a little bit unique. Ross, I'm currently running back to my burger joint. To try it and open it on time, it's not going to happen, but we're going to give it a go. So we've got a drinks fridge, 
Um, we're now running to buy the drinks and some more burgers. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I think that's probably going to conclude this episode. There is so much to do. We need to start looking at maybe furniture. Um, maybe buying some different gifts for the gift shop. Looking at employees as well to run the burger, the burger joint. There is so much to do and so little time. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode anyway. I'm just going to go and quickly grab... I think it's the right way it is. I'm so pleased the wholesaler. There's actually another wholesaler around here as well. Just around the corner. That's where you can buy the expensive gifts. I would like some soda cans. Thank you. And some burgers, please. Luckily, burgers don't cost much. We seem to use up quite a few burgers per day. So maybe grab a couple of those. Number one. No, that's as much as we can carry. Right. Place my order. Waiting in queue. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Right, here we go. Oh, did not mean to press that. Let's go inside. So, burgers. I will place... Oh, do I do that? I guess they automatically replenish, right? Oh, yeah, no one's assigned. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, okay, drinks fridge. We're going to put that behind the counter. Yes. Over here. I'm hoping we can buy a radio in the furniture store. That's what I'm hoping. Let's grab that, put that out here. And that is us pretty much done. Park the vehicle. <laughs> there we go. The burgers are now ready to go. Right, assign yourself. I, see, I saw a few customers coming in there, and they were just walking straight out. So you can fast... Oh, there we go. That's actually quite cool. You can still see what people are saying. Just a lot of music, wanting tables. We'll get there, I promise. We will get there. Skip to the end of the shift. It's a long day, isn't it? 8 p.m. Ooh, ouchie. But yeah, that is the end of my day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Lots of chaos, lots of chaos, lots going on. But we got there in the end. There is so much micromanagement as well. Man, my character deserves a very good sleep. Right, guys, we're going to pause it there. Tomorrow, or well, in the next episode, we are planning to go furniture shopping. We're finally going to get some tables and chairs, maybe a radio for the uh, for the burger joint, potentially, and start working on getting some more gifts in the gift shop. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon, and bye-bye.